okay uh, so we got our first QC report welcome to another video tutorial in this video we will run fast qc files which we have downloaded through our sra tool so as you know in the previous video we have downloaded the sra data using sra toolkit and if you don't know how to download the sra data in bulk using the that sra tool so i will recommend you first you can go back and watch that how we can download the data using that SRA toolkit. So once we have our data, so we will run that fast QC, I mean the quality checks on that data. So as you know, in the RNA seq pipeline, first when we have the sequences from Illumina, then we perform the quality control using this fast QC. So in the next video, we will be using this trimometric to do trimming. So but at present we are running through the quality control checks so uh, here are actually the two software which are required to run fast qc on windows so uh, how you can go to um, those software so first you can simply go to google and here you can write fast qc download for windows so once you will click on this so here you see here is the first link which will take you to this website so as you see this is actually that website babraham bioinformatics so actually we need two software so one is this which is actually the fast qc and as you know actually the fast qc software is based in java runtime environment so to to run this software we actually need to download this in java runtime environment as well so it means simply we need two software to download to run uh, qc files okay so uh, first you can download this one but before that if you want to run your software you need this environment so if this environment is already installed in your computer maybe you don't need to but uh, i mean uh, if you want to, and if you want but if your computer has not installed with this software previously so you can download these softwares and here i have actually already downloaded so let me show you how it looks like so as you see uh, this is the actually that software which is the java based and here i have already downloaded this software which is the fast qc file and i have just put it on my uh hold on here i have just pasted that fast qc software here and i have extracted this its files here so once you have downloaded the both software first you can install this one i mean uh, which i have just shown you in the downloads uh, I mean first you can install this run environment and then once you have uh, make sure that this software is installed you can go to this fast QC file and you can open this so as you see there are many folder but you can go to this folder which uh, this file which is actually the run fast QC dot bat so you can double click on this so once you will double click on this it will ask you to run and as here you see once i have just opened this so you can see here we have fast qc file so uh, as you uh, know in the previous videos we have downloaded the sra data in our sra toolkit and uh, let me show you that data here this is our sra toolkit and as in the previous video i have performed that that data was downloaded in the form of fast qc files so here you can see here i have three fast qc files so i will use these three fast qc file to run with this fast qc so we can simply uh, go back to this fast qc software we can go with file we can try to open one file and uh, we can go to desktop and we can go to sra toolkit then we can go to bin 
and in the bin you can see we have actually three fast QC file so first let me try this one so you see actually yeah uh, it, because the, the, that file was a bit shorter so you can see it was so quick and as here you see here are the many red and orange flags so actually whenever you run fast QC on your fast QC file so uh, there should be all green but if you have one or two orange flags that is okay but if there are red flags like as here you can see in the per base sequence quality and per base sequence content and per base nitrogen oh sorry and nucleotide content and sequence duplication level and over represented sequence so here all quality control checks failed so it means this is a red flag that this sequence uh, uh, within this first qc accession is not good so it means it does not qualify to go further analysis so let me show you why actually it failed so as here you can see that this is the basic statistics I mean this was the file name and then we have this alumina platform name and we have total sequences total width and basis okay and then we have sequence length and percentage of GC but as we will click on this so you you see here actually whenever we are increasing in the position of like uh, in reads so you can see everything should be in this green region but you see as the position in the reads is increasing so it is now even cross this orange region and come to the red one so it means it is giving the red flag that here actually the sequence quality is not good so and uh, we can check per sequence quality score which is okay i mean because it is showing the green and as you see this is like the normal bell shape so it is bit okay and uh, here is the per base sequence content i mean as you see a and t makes double bond so that the quantity of a and t should be equal and similarly the quantity of c and g should be equal so uh, but as here you can see the yellow one the g is actually much higher compared to other so it means it is also giving you the red flag that this uh, per base sequence content is not good and now we can go to this per sequence GC content actually uh, the this should be the theoretical I mean the in the blue one this should be according this bell shaped but I've even the overall GC content per read is uh, also bell shaped but still much higher so that is why it is okay to use because it, the, it's its color is in orange and uh, similarly we have per base n i mean whatever it is whether it was a t c or g so you can see that this shows actually much higher so it is not usable then we have sequence length distribution so i mean this is okay to use and here uh, these two things i mean the sequence duplication level so here are more than 100 sequence uh, duplication level so it cannot be used and even uh, i will show you next file when in which the first qc checks are good and that are okay uh, to go in our downstream analysis so here we have over represented sequences so actually these are those sequences which are over represented due to like mm -hmm, sequencer problem or any other problem in the data so uh, it means these are over represented sequences so we need to be careful that this sequence can be like over represented in your analysis then we have adapter content so okay so we can go back and run on the second one okay so we will go back again and uh, we will go to this and first and uh, you see here now we will go back again open and let me go to desktop again and i have saved my files in sra toolkit bin and then maybe we can try this one i mean sr9139 nine one three nine four six so we can open this one so you see it is starting analysis so i believe uh, this file was a bit larger 
so might be it will take a few seconds might be even up to a minute uh, so uh, we have to wait Okay, uh, so we got our first QC report. So as here you see, all are green. So which is giving you a signal that uh, the quality of reads in this succession is pretty good. Here is actually one sequence duplication level, but still because the, it is in orange color. So it means this is just a small flag. So it means uh, this succession is good to go for. Uh, downstream analysis so here is again basic bioinformatics then we have per base sequences so you can see everything is in the green region then we have sequence quality you see or uh, everywhere it's it's like i mean the total of heat map so nothing is wrong and then we have sequence quality so you see here mean sequence quality average that's fine and then you see the A, T and C, G are on the level. Then we have G, C content. You see everything is like as per theoretical distribution. Then we have the per base N content. I mean, it is also very fine. Then we have sequence distribution, which is quite, uh, I mean, up to the mark. And then we have sequence duplication level i mean those sequences which having like one read they here should here even one and two reads obviously can be like uh, duplicated and here is bit more problem but it's okay i mean other is all fine and next we have over represented sequences so as you see in the previous uh, previous file there were many sequences which were over represented so but in this file uh, nothing is over represented and then we have adapter content so everything is fine so in this way uh, you can also perform fast queue analysis of your all files are on your all sra accession before going into trimometric so if you have any question uh, in doing fast qc check of your file please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching bye bye